brother. Ben, I have to say, I have been in quite the Spider-Man mood ever since we got those Venom mugs in our loot crate last week, and I have in fact made my Venom mug my go-to mug of choice. And at Playlist Live last week, and I had a fan come up and just give me the other half of the set, which I didn't even know existed. So now I have Venom and Carnage, and I've had Spider-Man on the brain all weekend. So today, I'm doing Can Spider-Man Google Autofill? <laughs> If you're not familiar with the Google Autofill game, it is super easy. I just go into Google, type in Can Spider-Man, and then each letter of the alphabet, and Google autofills the rest of the question, and then I answer them with 100%-ish accuracy. A, can Spider-Man actually shoot webs? Do you mean is he making the web naturally, or is he shooting them from some man-made web shooter he concocts and attaches to his wrist? Because I have some serious thoughts about this. In some versions, it's occurring naturally, in others, he has the artificial man-made shooter things, and personally, I think the shooters are stupid. Like, they just don't make sense. You know, he gets bit by the spider and he gets all the powers of a spider except the one thing spiders are most known for, the web. But he just happens to be able to engineer a suitable web substitute and shooters that are able to propel that web super far distances at like bullet speed so that he can fight crime all out of the supplies he has living in his bedroom at Aunt May's house. Uh, no, it's just way too complicated and provides way too many stupid weaknesses like the shooter's malfunctioning or running out of web or the bad guy breaking the shooters on his wrist. I mean, Spider-Man should never lose a fight because of faulty weaponry. That's not why I'm watching or reading this book. Especially when the other option is to produce the web naturally and then have it, like, be faulty because of some internal struggles he's having, like, in his personal life, and he has to solve his personal life problems and be able to fight crime, and the crime is probably causing the personal problems, and that just adds a whole other layer to it, and it's just way better. Whew. Rant over. God, what are we, like, halfway through the alphabet now? B? Oh, why did the make it so long? B, can Spider-Man beat Hulk? Eh, I could see him maybe dodging for a while, but no. C, can Spider-Man come out and play? Hold on, I'll tweet him, we're really good pals. No, I'm just kidding, he never tweets back, but I do. If you're not following me on Twitter, you should go do that, and then we can talk and interact. I love talking on Twitter. D, can Spider-Man die? Spider-Man, just like all of us, can and will die is something Peter Parker would say in Spider-Man 3. E, can Spider-Man exist? I mean, my advice is just to go out and let a bunch of spiders bite you. I mean, <laughs> one of us has to get lucky eventually, right? It's a genetic lottery. F, can Spider-Man fly? I have seen some versions of him where he has like webbing underneath his arms, like a glider suit or something. But to me, the whole point of Spider-Man is that he like swings around with the web. So even if he can, I don't think he should be able to. G, can Spider-Man glide? I think I would call it Fallen with Style. Name that movie. I know. It's a super easy one, but tweet me the answer so I know you got it. H, can Spider-Man heal? Heal? Well, yeah, I can heal. I mean, sure, sure, he can heal, like, broken bones in a couple of hours. I've had this paper cut for a week, but, you know, whatever. It's not a race, man. Weirdly, nothing for I. J, can Spider-Man join the Avengers? That was the letter J. Google wasn't addressing me specifically. I don't think. Yes, Spider-Man prefers to work alone, but he has joined the Avengers in the past. K, can Spider-Man kill the Hulk? I mean, at best I feel like he could like mildly annoy him. L, can Spider-Man lift Mjolnir? You know, the real question is, if Spider-Man spins a web and Mjolnir's sitting on it and it doesn't break, does that count as lifting it for Spider-Man through the transitive property of fictional web design and oddly specific weapon rules? Well, I don't know, but I do know that if that web was spun through man-made web shooters, it doesn't count. M, can Spider-Man make webs? You know, I'm noticing a pattern here. I guess I would be more okay with this if he was still producing the web from his body. He just didn't have a way to like, you know, shoot it. So we had like create the shooter thing. That would be a little more acceptable. It's just still not as cool. Nothing for N or O. P. Can Spider-Man produce Deuce webs. I know it seems like I'm probably taking this too seriously, but obviously it's a point of contention across all of Google. R, can Spider-Man run out of webs? Yeah, if it's man-made. S, can Spider-Man shoot webs? What, you mean like fully formed ones? I mean, I know he can weave them. He's very good at web design. Speaking of web design and Google, have you guys seen the new Google logo? What do you think? Personally, not a huge fan. T, can Spider-Man take a bullet? Yeah, take a bullet, whatever. <laughs> Can he deal with this paper cut for two weeks? <laughs> v, can Spider-Man beat Venom? Well, I'll tell you, he sure can't beat the coolness of this mug, but in battle, yes, he can. Can Spider-Man web shooters be made? Apparently, by, like, high schoolers in their room with just whatever is laying around. Why aren't we all doing it? That's the real problem. If he can make the web shooters, why can't more people recreate them? X, can Spider-Man Xbox 360? I assume he can get his hands on one. 
think he'd go for the newer model. Why can Spider-Man YouTube? I would assume so. He seems handy with computers and cameras and stuff. I mean, honestly, it's probably easier to video himself than taking the pictures for the newspaper. I'm not sure why he's sticking with the Daily Bugle anyway. Print is a dying medium, Spider-Man. You gotta get on the web. Ah! And Z, can Spider-Man zoom and go? Yeah, I wondered how he goes to the bathroom too. There you go, Ben. That's everything Google wanted to know about what Spider-Man can and cannot do. My question for you and everybody else is, what do you think is cooler, the naturally occurring web or the man-made shooters? Let me know down in the towel section below. I expect some of you have some fairly strong opinions about this as well. Also, thank you to everyone who entered into our Loot Crate competition last week on Instagram. We had over a thousand entries. That was awesome. The winner was Chelly Patelli. Congratulations, Chelly. We will be contacting you via direct message on Instagram, so be on the lookout for that. Ben, that's all I've got for you today, but I will see you in another life, brother. These socks are amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. If you need a little bit more Super Carlin Brothers, you can always click on the other videos over there or head over to the Super Carlin Gaming channel where we do Pokemon Nuzlocke. Right now we're doing Heart Gold. We are about halfway through. The team is looking very strong, although there has been some drama lately. I definitely recommend you go check it out.